Johnny Ruffo's shattered girlfriend Tani Sims farewells the late home at away star with heartbreaking eulogy at emotional memorial service at his old school in Perth, until we meet again John, I love you. Star of home and away Johnny Ruffo was said goodbye to by grieving friends and family on Saturday at a memorial service at Balcata Senior High School in Perth. After a protracted and valiant battle with brain cancer, the actor and singer, 35, passed away quietly in a Sydney hospital earlier this month. Tani gave a moving eulogy in which she remembered how Ruffo maintained his sense of humor right up until the end, remembering his big cheeky grin that had brightened even the darkest of days. It was evident, she remarked, why the cosmos had brought them together sooner after learning the news. A later was not going to happen, according to the West Australian. We'll always be grateful because I know that not everyone gets to experience that kind of love, she remarked. John used to claim that I was his angel of protection. However, soulmate seems more apt to me. He multiplied my generosity tenfold. She went on, and the majority of the time, he was my source of courage and strength. There wasn't a dry eye in the house as Tani recounted the deep love she felt for her soulmate. I know that not everyone gets to experience that kind of love, which is why I will be forever grateful, she said. Served him for six and a half years as he faced a horrifying cancer diagnosis, endured setback after setback, yet continued to act bravely and gratefully until the very end. I'll miss everything about John in the world. Above all, John, I adore you. Until we cross paths again, I will miss his ability to make me laugh no matter the situation or how offensive the joke was. A booklet with Lady Gaga song lyrics and photos of Tani and Johnny under the title of Forever Love was distributed during the memorial. Among the mourners were Ruffo's co-stars from Home and Away, including longtime soap opera star Lynn McGranger, who gave a heartfelt eulogy in which she recalled the actor's modesty and sense of humor. Those closest to him were aware that he had dedicated his entire life to achieving that moment, she remarked. He exuded a gentleness that kept him modest and grounded. In addition to being an amazing boxer, he was a kind and compassionate friend to a great number of people. You will always be a part of our memories, and the way you touched each and every one of our lives demonstrates just how giving and unselfish you truly were. I shall always love you. As the MC for the service, Seven journalist Mark Gibson remarked that Ruffo has that rare indefinable charm that makes you a star. For that, Jill, Ruffo's mother, gave the school a plaque to honor her son, which would be displayed in the performing arts complex. Prior to the performance, loved ones were seen filing into the space. Some were crying, some were embracing, and some were carrying flowers to lay in memory of the late singer and actor. Ruffo's family made information about his public memorial service, which took place at his old high school, public earlier this week. Monday, Johnny shared details about the memorial on Facebook along with a grinning picture of him wearing a tuxedo. The actor passed away on November 10 while surrounded by his loved ones and partner Tani. His untimely passing was revealed in a message posted on his Instagram page. A statement said, we had to say goodbye to our beloved Johnny today with a heavy heart. With the help of some amazing nurses and doctors, Johnny passed away peacefully, surrounded by his partner Tani and family. After Ruffo visited the hospital in 2017 due to excruciating migraines, he was initially diagnosed with brain cancer. He had a 7 cm brain tumor surgically removed from his frontal lobe in August of that year after being sent for chemotherapy and radiation treatment. After receiving his first diagnosis in 2017, Ruffo experienced months of remission before disclosing that the illness had resurfaced in November 2020, 